Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be sharing a fairly new but seriously awesome free to use iPad note taking app, no ads, full of great features. So let's get started. So the app is called Colonote. It's actually created by a university student who is clearly very talented and worked very hard on it. One of the reasons why I think you guys will love this app is because it has a ton of paper templates that are all free and ready to use. From plain to lined to square to Cornell and hexagons that you're sure to find one you can use. There's even other creative pre-made templates like to-do lists and whatnot. However, one thing that's not yet possible is setting your own custom templates. You can certainly import your own custom PDFs, but you can't set your own templates like in GoodNotes. In terms of organization, you can create folders within folders and with the newest update, you can now move folders and notes around in the app. Once you get into a note, you can also change its paper template, which is a feature that I personally value in a note taking app. Another thing that I am so impressed by in this free app is this built-in feature where if you switch your app to dark mode, you can also turn on the dark paper and smart ink feature where your notes basically invert their colors and turn dark while maintaining legibility. This actually also applies to imported PDF textbooks where if you turn on this feature, the pages of the textbook will invert and you can read your textbook in dark mode. I've never seen anything like this in any other note-taking app, even the paid ones. In terms of writing tools, you have the basics, which is a pressure sensitive pen that you can change the thickness of. There's also infinite colors to choose from. You can choose from a grid format, a spectrum, a slider, and you can also change the opacity. The pen tool actually feels very smooth to write with compared to other free note-taking apps that I've tried. Aside from the pen, you also have a pencil tool that looks pretty realistic. Same customization options as the pen. And writing feels very fluid as well. For those of you who like to illustrate, you may find shading with the pencil on low opacity useful. As for the highlighter, it's pretty basic. You can have it go behind text as long as you have that option toggled on. Do keep in mind that the highlighter, if at full opacity, can actually hide the lines on the template. So be sure to turn down the opacity if you're planning on making it look more like a highlighter. Another awesome feature that you guys might enjoy is the ability to add up to five favorite tools on the side, which pop up as little icons for quick access. Now I'm actually pretty excited about the eraser as well. Like most note-taking apps, you can erase something entirely or partially, but what's new about this one is the option to auto switch back to the last tool you were using once you're done erasing. It can definitely speed up your workflow a bit, although you may have to take some time to get used to it. The text feature is also very well thought out. It makes use of scribble with the Apple Pencil so you don't have to use your keyboard. It's also very easy to edit the font and color and manipulate it on the page. Call a Note has also got a shape tool as well and with the most recent update, you can now draw other shapes like stars and hearts. As far as I'm aware, the ability to draw stars and hearts was previously only available on Apple Notes, so it's nice to see this feature built into a third-party note-taking app. There is also a built-in ruler for those of you who need it. A feature I know a lot of people love is audio recording and Call a Note has it. It works almost exactly like the one in Notability. You simply just press record and it goes and you can easily play it back. However, at this time, I don't believe it plays out your notes like in Notability, but I think it's wonderful that this feature is available in a free app. Some other cute features include little stickers you can add into your notes, which reminds me greatly of elements in GoodNotes. You can currently export your notes as a PDF, but right now exporting a specific range of pages is not yet possible, but knowing how often this developer updates, it's probably a feature that's coming soon. So those are kind of the main features that I wanted to highlight in Call a Note. I do encourage you guys to try it because it's completely free but packed with features. I'd argue that it's probably the best free note-taking app out there right now, and it's much too underrated. If you do want to elevate your note-taking experience a bit more, I do recommend getting a paper-like screen protector. It's a matte screen protector that does a great job at making your iPad feel more like paper. It gives you the friction you need to control your writing better, which is something you might struggle with if you're new to iPad note-taking. I do have a whole video on my experience with using Paperlike, which I'll leave in the description box below. If you do want to check it out, I have an affiliate link that I'll also put down in the box below. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next time.